Hello everybody, it's the 26th of April today and uh, I'm just going to be sowing a few more seeds, ones that need to go in the propagator, cucumbers, uh, I want to go do some more tomatoes uh, for the giant tomato and um, also some melons and courgettes and pumpkins. Now I've just sieved my compost and it was a bit dry so I've just added just a little bit of water. I don't want it sopping wet. Um, I shall be standing them in water once I've uh, sowed the seeds. But if you just get a little bit of moisture in it, it uh, helps to take up the moisture when you uh, when you finish sowing. And I find it a bit more workable if it's just damp rather than wet. And that's perfect, that is. It's just slightly holding together and then that will suck up the water better than dry compost. Dry compost takes a long time to um, soak up the water when you're watering from the bottom. And uh, I'll just get my seeds together and I'll show you what I'm sowing. Also to the sieved compost I've added some cocoa koi, a couple of handfuls, and I found that um, that's worked for me. Um, I was having problems with um, seedlings, uh, seed, sowing seeds and germination and uh, that has helped a lot. I'm still having problems with germination with uh, a lot of seeds uh, but um, I found that that is starting to work better for me and um, the varieties I'm growing uh, today or so in is uh, Blenheim Orange Melon and Charleston Grey and um, I've also got some uh, saved seed there from one of my watermelons from last season, see how I get on with those. It wasn't an F1, so that should grow true to type. And I've got um, heavy cucumber, long cucumber, hopefully for Malvern show. And I've got some tomato seeds there. Uh, the one is off a six pound 11 ounce tomato and the other one is off a six pound two ounce. Um, where I got these from, I did get some um, long chilies and uh, world record bell pepper and not one of them germinated. I sowed them all and not one germinated. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, these aren't going to be the same. And then I've got um, sweet corn, golden hind, uh, mini munch, I want to grow a few of those. I'm going to try pickling some of them and see how I get on with those. And um, prasanda and carmen, and then courgettes, piccolo and sunstripe and harvest moon pumpkin and there's a giant pumpkin there and I, I don't think i'm gonna i've got nowhere to put that to be fair i'd like to sow one of those but um yeah i'll have to think of where i'm gonna put it and then uh, you cheeky curry uh, i usually grow crown prince and i thought i'd got some seed but um i can't have bought any so i might have to go out and buy some of those you're wondering what the noise is it's uh penny chewing on her hoof um I'm going to sow these in uh, little tiny pots like that. Now all of these are is a seed tray, like that. This was uh, twice the size, I've cut it in half. Um, and I've cut them up. And uh, I'm going to sow seeds individually in them. And then into this larger seed tray, I'll pop them in like that. And the idea being that uh, when one germinates, I can just take it straight out of the pop uh, propagator um, into the greenhouse and you're not waiting for three or four seeds the other seeds to come up and then that first one that comes up gets lanky because it's, it's got so much warmth in the propagator um, I did that with me tomatoes and uh, that worked well as soon as they they were through the soil the compost I took them straight out and then they were at room temperature in the greenhouse rather than uh, a lot warmer in the propagator so I've soaked these um, little pots um, water them from the bottom and you can see I've left about an inch from the top and I'm going to sow me cucumbers a little bit different this year um, these are the heavy ones and I don't know if that is picking it up but if you look at them there's a pointy end and a blunter end now the root should come out of the, of the blunt end um, and the worst thing with um, cucumbers is rotting off at the neck um, because the soil, the compost is too wet on top. So my idea is, 
I've just potted one on there. You can see I'm just going to push them into the damp soil, the blunt end down, and then leave the rest of that like that. And then the compost that I've sipped, the seed compost, which is just slightly moist, hardly any moisture in there really at all, but it's not bone dry. I'm going to put that over the top and then hopefully the moisture will be where the roots are and when the stem comes out it should be coming through drier compost. Very similar to how I sow my uh, runner beans and French beans. Um, I've not done it like this before, I've usually sown them on their, on their edge, um, but I'm going to give it this, a try this way and see if it works for me. Now I've tried these uh, two ways now, the ones on the top, the top two, they're about um, three quarters of an inch or they will be deep and then these at the front, I'm going to sow those like that and leave them with the actual seed, half the seed sticking out. It's the blunt end which is the long thin end that goes into the ground and then the one with the little point on the end which is a fatter end. That one is the one that um, sticks out. So I'll try these at the front like that. And then I shall just cover these at the back with um, dry compost. And we'll see how that goes. It is quite difficult to uh, see the difference. But if you look at those, those are the way that they will go in the ground. This end here. is the uh, blunter end and uh, in comparison to a pumpkin seed there you can see which way that goes in this end goes in the ground I shall be sowing these exactly the same but I shan't be covering the pumpkin seeds I should just be pushing the point end in uh, the only difference is with these is I shall just be rubbing them on the table just to get rid of that that end off the very end off there and uh, then I shall just plant them in the soil so as they stick up like that and that's all of those sown now we've got um, cucumbers sown both ways underground and above ground I've done all of the squashes and pumpkins I've done them above ground um, and as soon as they start to come through I'll take them out of the propagator and I've got courgettes there um, I've done underground and above ground and uh, I've also done the same with the watermelons and we'll see how we get on. I'm not saying that uh, everybody should do this, uh, sow their seeds this way, this is just how I'm doing them. I have been thinking about it like this for a while and uh, I'll give it a go. Um, I am putting all my eggs in one basket. I appreciate that I'm doing them two different ways, but um, it is different to how I normally sow them. Um, the sweet corn and runner beans and French beans, I'll put on another video, um, but I shall be trying to get those done this afternoon. But uh, I do try and keep these videos as short as possible. I appreciate that uh, everybody's time is very precious. Uh, if you let me know what you're sowing this year in, as regards to cucumbers, melons and uh, squashes and pumpkins and courgettes and how you're sowing them as well. Many thanks for watching everybody. Uh, your, all your support is very much appreciated. Um, I've had a lot of new subscribers recently and it is, uh, it's very warming. So uh, welcome to everybody that's new to the channel. Take good care everybody. Many thanks. Bye.